So recently, Lou Valentino spoke to another T-Pay and from what it looks like, exposed Domo for lying. And today, we're gonna get into that. Some drama is about to happen! What up everyone, it's your boy, Mana Lewis. Join the team real game. Make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell. Smash that like button. And if you guys have any story or leads, all my social media links in the description below. So let's get straight into the drama. So recently, Domo Wilson made a video called I Fell For A Guy Recently, and here is what happened. Mm, if that wasn't a big enough hint, but if you didn't get that from the title, she's actually talking about Lou, and here's the proof that she's talking about Lou, just in case you guys didn't catch on. I love how she basically tries to mentally f with you guys, acting as if you need some high skills to figure out who it was. Attractive. As you guys know, it came out to the world in January and I was one of the best days of my life besides my son. I'm gonna give you all the details of that but I fell for a guy. We know from the video that she made after her come out video it was Lou who she was talking about. I am interested in somebody. This is recent interest too because he reacted to my um, video and everything that he said in that video like drew me to him. So this was like yesterday when I realized like hey like I think I think I have like my first guy crush and we weren't in a relationship. And it was only after the Chrissy situation, so they weren't definitely in a relationship. Months. All right, yeah, yeah. Matter of like, fact, let's so... really talk about it. Look, right now, we're friends. Like, yeah. we're like... Friends. You know. We never had... We did kiss. And we know Lou kissed her, was her first guy kiss, allegedly. And it was Lou. Lou was my first guy kiss. After that video, um, we went on a few, like, little friendly dates and stuff, and he kissed me. And at this point, I don't know if she's lying because she lies about so many things because she has said that she has kissed dudes before. Yes, I've had with a dude. Yes, I've kissed dudes. Lou was my first guy kiss. Comment below and let me know why do you think she would lie about something so petty and so stupid, kissing? Like... <laughs> Is she trying to make it more impactful and more get your emotions involved? Uh, my first guy kiss, it was amazing. Hell! Since I'm on the subject of Dominic, no, he never met my son. I don't play that. If we're not serious or getting serious, I am not, I would never, I don't like people in and out of my son's life. That is something I don't play with. And he knows that he accepted that, you know, he wanted to be my son. I said, no, I need to make sure that this is going to work. I need my son to have consistency in his life. And it was all good after that. Have not and will not meet Lou for a very long time. So for a couple days, my mom's just been helping me watch him and stuff like that. Because as well, she went, he did show interest in my son. And I think that's very important because I cannot be with somebody who does not show interest in my son. I always ask how he is. He will always ask how his speech is going because my son is speech delayed. He would always ask how little man is doing and I thought that single mothers out there, you know what I'm talking about when you meet a man and they show interest in your children. It's like, oh my, is this Russell Wilson? And we know Lou show interest in Domo's son. I think it's super crazy how like, and awesome from the get jump, he always asks about Dominic. Yeah. He always like, he's never met Dominic yeah. and he won't for a while, but the fact that that you're even interested, that you're even like winning my son gifts and stuff like that. Like I never asked him to do nothing. Yeah. He was just like, oh, this I want is for her gifts and I want Dominic a gift. Yeah, stuff he, like he wanted both of us. And they show interest in your children. It's like, oh my, is this Russell Wilson? Like he did anything special. Like he was hella special. I'm not saying he wasn't hella special. I mean, we're so cool. We're so cool. There's no bad blood. We just didn't work out and we won't work out. And that's just what we decided to do, which is totally fine. There's no bad blood. Now, Lou and Domo are not following each other, so maybe it isn't him that he's talking about, but I doubt it. Again, Domo always likes to lie. She's like, oh, I'm cool with people. Don't attack them. Don't do this. And Lou's the same with the exes that he has on YouTube. They all expose him when he's like, oh, we're cool. So I highly doubt she's talking about someone else. How people are supposed uh, he just treated me good. You know, we argued like cats dogs and some real shit. but I'm just like okay he makes me feel special I'm and we know they argued heavy over storylines but it looked like she also wanted to do it with someone else he is the one that wanted to like do the storyline with her he pushed for her to not do it with another guy so at this point you guys should know that it was Lou that she was talking about no one else but Lou so that week during after her video, she posted on Instagram because someone asked her, if you date someone, would you expect someone to pay all the time? And she replied saying, 100% not. I think it should be 50-50. But the Nikwa I used to like never paid for ish, lol. 
and we know who she used to like. Someone asked her, have you been on a date since you've been single? And did you have to pay or did he pay? And she answered, no, I went on a few dates with one guy, but I always had to pull out my wallet. Another reason why I knew it wouldn't work, I'm tired. If I do decide to date anyone, I'm gonna need them to have their ish together. 100% long, never again. And as you can see, she says, another reason why I knew it wouldn't work. Referring to the video that she posted because she had her reason on there. She felt that Lou wasn't attracted to her. Isn't it funny that Jayla had a video called Dudes Can't Afford Me Chit Chat after being with Lou? <laughs> oh, ladies, I got a question. I need you to answer this to the best of your ability. If you're going out with a guy, right, and y'all both not rich, y'all both not sugar mamas and sugar daddies, should it be 50 50 or should he pay for the date? Or should y'all both whip out y'all wallets and pay for it? Why I bring this up because some of y'all girls be thinking we we are daddies or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be thinking we are pops, like hey, pops, pay for this meal. Like, y'all be so prepared for a guy to pay for everything when I think it should be 50 50. But am I tripping or am I not? What is up? Now, maybe it is the case, and that's why Domo left him, or one of the reasons why Domo didn't want to be with him, and that's why he turned to IG to get some answers. Skirt, skirt, pause the video and let me know. Do you think this was like a sub IG video to Domo? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, a lot of people asked him questions about Domo. Every question is about Domo right now. And um, I just want to say that I have nothing but love and respect for her. And I love that girl to death, man. She's held me down through a lot. And I will never have anything bad to say about her. Of course he doesn't, because he knows if she was to recall him out, it would look really bad. So yeah, I don't want y'all to keep on making assumptions about that. I don't even, ooh, almost crashed. I don't even want to talk about it. She moved on, I moved on. I wish her nothing but the best, and I'm pretty sure she wishes the same thing for me. And that's where we at with that, guys. So, of course, Lou went in defense after Domo made her comment on Instagram and he basically exposes her or says that what she said was not true. She went on the voice of the people, he went, sorry, and said, This girl got way more money than me. She knows she's not getting a sugar daddy out of me. So it's like, you know, they both got way more money than me. Like, I usually always offer and they always on some, well, especially Domo was always on some, I'm independent vibe. Um, so yeah, that, that was, that bothered me. That was like, whoa, like that is not true. So who do you guys think's lying? Domo Wilson or Lou? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And honestly, this is so interesting because Lou is a clout chaser. He was doing anything to get out of the situation that he was or still is in like we made a whole video about it with everything the evidence so you know she knew he was a bad guy as well like he was talking trash on Jayla and I assume he is because he never rectified it when he had a chance to in his video after Jayla exposed him for talking trash about her and all that so it's funny how Obviously, you're gonna hang out with a snake. You think he wasn't gonna bite you? You thought magically you can change him or something? Especially when he never apologized for it. Like, girl, bye, another dummy. Bye, Fei Fei. <laughs> It's like karma blowing up all up in her face after the whole Jayla situation. And it's funny, that's probably why she really won't talk about it because she knows she's gonna look like a big cool. And I'm sure she doesn't want her pride or her ego to be crushed. Making a song, acting like you're non-bothered, but yet you're sending receipts about Chrissy to her teabage. 